Welcome to Crazy Shit in Real Estate, a weekly podcast where I walk you through some of the wildest, most unbelievable stories you'll hear from the world of real estate. If you like real estate and you love crazy, this is the podcast for you. Before we get any further into this episode, I've got some information to share. Oh, it's true. Real estate is super competitive and harder than you expected. That's why I created Lee Brown University. It's everything you need to take you from point A to point whatever your goal is. You could be new to the business or a seasoned vet. I'll help you break through to the next level so that your professional life can look exactly like you desire. Enroll in Lee Brown University today. I'll help you get there. You were asking me some of the crazy stories my very first deal in 2004 was a seller. I drove five hours to go to his house. I knew he had equity in his house. He owed 165. I knew the house as is was worth 205. It was four acres. And I didn't know really anything about investing. I didn't even go through the full course. I think I did like three of the 10 CDs and, you know, and then, and then, I, and then I'm there. So I sat with him. His name was Joe. And we sat in his house for about an hour and a half. And I didn't even talk about the house. We talked about him, his family, his experience. He told me his entire life story. I take the extra time. At the end of the day, he said, gosh, Gary, you've been here. And I know that, you know, it's getting late. You drove five hours. He's like, you want to see the house? And I, I, I said, Joe, I'm like, what do you want? I actually just asked him. I'm like, tell me what you want. He goes, here's my deal, Gary. I will offer you $10,000 to take the house. So my very first deal, the seller came to me and offered me $10,000 to take the house. And by just building the relationship, but now, by the way, it made sense. What happened was he was $20,000 behind on the mortgage. He was not yet in foreclosure. And he figured, and he was trying to not ruin his credit. Good. And so he said, if you come up with 10 grand and I give you 10 grand, you cure the mortgage and I'll just deed the house over to you. Oh. And I didn't do that, by the way. I, gave, I closed and bought the house that night. We could do that back then. And for 100 Ooh. bucks with a notary. And I ended up making $181,000 on that very first deal. That's a whole other story um, of how that all came together. It was awesome. But anyway, my point in telling you this is don't assume anything with sellers. It's just a conversation. Yes. Right? It's an honest conversation. People are okay if you're there to make a little bit of money. I had one seller, his name was Mark, terribly mean on the phone. When I, when I first got in, he goes, look, if you're just one of those scumbag real estate investors that's going to give me a lowball offer to try to steal my house, I'm not the guy. And I basically asked him, I said, Mark, and I do this thing called ARA. It's a little acronym. I agree with whatever they say because I think all sellers are crazy because they are in any industry. I agree with what they say. I repeat what I heard. And then I ask them a few questions. It works 100% of the time. You'll be shocked. And I teach this and I get so many people that say, oh my gosh, Gary, that's made me so much money. But I said, Mark, I completely agree that there are a lot of people out there. And sounds like, here's the R, I'm repeating. It sounds like you've had a lot of people, investors that have like really kind of given you crappy offers. I said, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? He said, yes. What would be fair if I bought your house and I came in with cash and then I fixed up the house? What do you think would be fair for me to make in terms of profit? And he goes, that's probably the best question I've actually had anybody ask me. He goes, I thought about it. If you came in and bought this house and fixed it up and you made about 40,000 bucks, to me, that would be fair. And I said, Mark, I think that's fair too. And I said, if we structured this deal where I make 40 grand and we do that deal, would you do this deal with me? He goes, yeah. And I bought that house and I structured it where we made 40 grand. I actually think on that particular deal, I got a little bit more and we split a little bit of the profit on the back end. But, you know, you basically, it's a conversation. You know, there's a sale that always happens. People, even in marriage, right? And if you don't know, who sold who, you were probably the one that got sold. <laughs> 100%. Every time. <laughs> oh, it was a sale. So it's just a conversation. Relax. This is a people business. 
you know, marketing generates leads and then you do have to talk to people. There's a live conversation that has to be had. Oh, you're enjoying this little clip? Well, the rest of the story is available on any of your podcast apps. Just go search for and subscribe to Crazy Shit in Real Estate with Lee Brown.